back to UE5 BP Guru. Today is another quick tutorial where we're going to be looking at uh, how to create patrolling enemies using a spline. Um, I'm using this in my Pokemon clone to emulate the encounter start where you go through the uh, grass and a uh, Ringmon appears or Pokemon appears or Temtem appears. Um, I think with Nintendo on the 3DSs, they used to use like um, a UI to, to sort of uh, animate fake grass moving in front of the screen and then it would appear. But for me, I want to move through the grass. I want to make it feel a bit more kind of real, a bit more interesting. So I'm going to press play and show you it running. Uh, and then I'll show you how I did this. But you can also use this for enemy patrols um, and things like that. Uh, splines are great for things like that. They're also great for making roads. I think I've shown that in the past though. So let's get play and see what happens. So we start in the grass. Oh gosh, that was very laggy, but um, that's because I'm recording and um, recording and uh, trying to use Unreal at the same time. My computer is a bit of a potato. Let's try that again. Runs a bit smoother. There we go. So we go through the grass and our ring mon appears. So the spawn happens just before we actually take over the camera. Then the camera can move through the grass and the ringmon has spawned. You'll see things have changed a lot where we're getting more dialogue boxes now and things are happening in an actual order they should happen for most of these capture games. So we can run now and leave this. Um, as you can see, I still have no loading screens in there, so you can still see everything spawning in. Um, so yeah, so basically... I've created two new actors for this to get this working. Now, you don't if you're following along with the Pokemon clone, you'll need to follow these steps. But if you're only use, interested in the spline and making people kind of follow it and things like that, you can move on to the next part. So, um, it, within my grass battle level, you'll remember I have my camera switch object here. So, uh, it's run through Booleans and whatever Boolean is active, will it will follow that along. For me, I've got an E start, which is an encounter start. So if it is an encounter, it will switch to this camera. And to do that, I don't actually need the sequence in there anymore. That was where I was messing around to get this working. But we can get all axes of class, which is our camera E, I've called it for now, which is camera encounter. Um, we are getting that camera actor, and then we are setting the view target with blend using the get player controller. You're probably wondering why I didn't just drag the camera actor in um, like I did for the others. That's because we need to actually write some code in a blueprint for the camera. So I've created a new actor, a uh, new blueprint actor called camera E. And it is just a camera. There's literally nothing else in there other than just the camera. Um, I haven't moved it around. It is just a standard camera spawned in as is using the blueprint. And I've placed it in the world. So it's always spawned. It is always spawned within this area. It doesn't matter where I put this. Um, it will always be in the world. You can put it to the start of your spline. It doesn't really matter. It will always spawn directly to the start of the spline and end the end of the spline. Um, so then we've created a spline object for the world as well. Oh gosh, I'm opening everything up. Stop that. Stop that. Um, so I've created another actor as well and called it Alpha Spline. So this spline um, is literally just a spline. So I've just clicked Add, I've gone Spline, and there it is. I've added it in, and I haven't changed anything about it. I've just left it. It is where it is. So I've dragged it in. I've put the end position and the start position to where I want them to be. Um, and then I've gone into my camera blueprint, and this is where all the code will be. So I've got an event begin play and then we're starting our custom event. That's all that needs to happen with this. I could have probably just added this to there, but I thought I'd just keep it neater and, and do a custom event that's called when it's played. So we get a set play rate and we create a timeline. Um, you might want to create this first before creating the set play rate because yeah, so you'll need, because when we create this, it automatically creates a component, um, 
a component uh, variable for the timeline. It automatically does that. You don't have to create that. You don't have to promote it to a variable or anything like that. So we can then drag off this and get it. And then we just, as you saw me do, set play rate. And it will come up with the function for you. Now, for the encounter, I've set it to 0 0.4. That's a very good sort of uh, time for this camera movement for the Pokemon clone. If I'm creating something where I'm, I have a walking patrol, I'm probably going to use 0 0.1. That's probably what I would do. I will show you an example of the, um, the walking patrol. Uh, as well at the end so if you're interested in seeing how that works it's exactly the same code but i will show you it running um stay till the end and you'll see that um working as a patrol so then we get a timeline if we open that bad boy up it is literally just a vector uh where is it it's a vector track if i click track it's uh no it's not it's a float sorry float track i've used a float track for this and all i've done is i've gone time one value one and then i've put another uh, if you right click you can add a key to it and i've got one that's at zero so it starts at zero value of zero and will end at time one and value one once that's done you can come out of it and then you can create the new track and set that to a new variable called alpha and that will keep track of where you are on your timeline from point a to point b then we've got um, we've got to get all our actors of the alpha spline. Now there's only one. We only need the one alpha spline, so we can get that. Um, and then you do a get. So get all actors of alpha spline. Do a get. Now this will be different, but um, I'll explain that when we move over to the patrol. Uh, then we are getting. Uh, we, we basically just want to set the, the actor's new location, and that's what kind of makes it simulate is running on the spline. So using this get actor, we get the spline from it. So we literally just pull off, type spline, and that will get you um, the spline actor you set up within the alpha spline. And then we're getting the spline length. We're doing alert between 0 and B being that get spline length, and then the alpha. So it matches it to the time, basically. Uh, then we get the spline get location at distance along spine, which we plug that lerp into and we use world and we get the rotation at distance along spline and plug that into there also these then create your these basically set up your new location and rotation um, and what it does is every time every 0 0.4 seconds that it goes through it basically keeps moving it to the next point along that spline until it finishes you can create loops for splines as well. Uh, again, I will show you that in the next project where I've actually got some patrols going on. Um, so I will be back in two seconds. Two very boring minutes later. So here we are back in the project. We've got a couple of uh, examples here of splines just following paths and also them following loops. So here we go. He's He's walking. He's walking, and so is this one. They will walk together um, in the same direction. Uh, you can see I've set up lots of different kind of AIs. One's like knelt down there. You know, they're all doing different things. You can talk to them as well. They've got like voice acting as well. But if we run up here, we should be able to run up this slope. Yes, we can. Um, <clears throat> there's another one but there's one here running around he's got no eyes so don't look at his face but <laughs> oh it's very laggy it's because I'm I'm trying to do lots of things on my computer still um, but there we go um, he runs around and if I talk to him I can run really fast don't look at his eyes like oh my god look at his eyes and then if I walk away he carries on his little run there you go meow Look at him go, he's so fast. Um, yeah, so let's have a look. Oh gosh. Um, uh, where would it even be? Um, so there's the NPC spline run. So this is a master one I use that I can just change 
the spline and then assign it to someone. But um, yeah, you can see it's slightly different because we have a track reference associated with the um, with the character. It's just the alpha spline um, and. I'm pretty sure if I click on this person, uh, yeah, here we go. It's got the dialogue, it's got the speech, and it's also got a track reference that we can um, give it the track. So, for example, if I click on this now, it's got a little lulgam spline and if we click on him he's got that associated with him we can set his max walk speed and play speed rate at 0 0.03 so for example if i wanted him to speed up i could go okay 0 0.01 and um he'll go way faster <laughs> there you go let him walk oh my days power walking at his finest um <laughs> I'm going to reset that back just in case I don't come back to this project for a while. And I'm like, what the hell is he running so fast? So, yeah, I've exposed all those things on Spawn so that we can uh, basically play with them a little bit. Um, and ensure that they kind of, you know, do what we want them to do and follow the right splines that we want to follow them, want them to follow. So I can basically duplicate now this um, spline name it something else and as long as i make sure that that name is in our track reference again if we click on it we've got all these different splines it will follow that spline and it will always go to the start it'll jump to the start of the spline and follow the spline along um its path so hopefully you found this useful um thank you so much guys for watching um and um i will see you in the next episode don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already we're very close to a thousand and of course like and comment and I will see you next time. Take care. Bye.